this video, we'll describe how to add a new job in ClearPlan. When you're inside the ClearPlan application, you can add jobs from one of two screens. You can do it from the job screen, which is the page we're looking at, and you can also do it from the dashboard. So to add a new job, what you need to do is come over here to the top right corner and click Add New Job. This drop-down gives you three options. You can choose Repossession, Advanced Alert, and Voluntary Job. Okay, so let's go ahead and add our first job. And we're going to do this from the job screen. So let's navigate back to the jobs page. And on the right hand corner, we're going to click this drop down and we're going to click on repossession. So this takes us to the screen where we can add the repossession job. So the first thing you want to do is put in the debtor's full name. So you put in the debtor's full name. Then you need to put in the VIN number. And then we'll put in the order date. Now this order date is something that you'll want to put in internally so you can know when you put this job into ClearPlan. So we'll pick September 29th. And then if you have the license plate number, we can put that in. And here where it says case URL, this is where you'll want to put in the case URL if it's an RDN case URL or wherever the original jobs come from. In this case I don't have a URL and then you'll type in the client name. So we'll type in Wells Fargo. Once you're done with this you click on the button that says next section. So this takes us to our addresses. So I'm going to go ahead you want to click in your address type. So I'm going to put in a home address first. And we're going to choose this address right here in Reno, Nevada. And you can leave notes if you want to here. So I'll put in, you can put in any note you want there. Under the actions, you can choose to make this a high priority or a confirmed address. Confirmed address would just mean that you actually saw the vehicle at the location. But since this is a new job, I'm going to leave it as is. But I also know where this person works. So I'm going to come up and add an additional address. And I do that by clicking this Add Address button. So I'm going to click this. And this gives us a new option to add an address. So now I'm going to choose a work address. And I know this person works at Starbucks. So what I can put in here in this location is I can just start typing Starbucks. And as you can see, ClearPlan comes up with a list of different Starbucks. And I know that he works at the South McCarran. So I'm going to click on this. And now as you can see, the map is updated. I have the original address that I put in, which is the home address. And then the second location which is the work address. And I'm going to give this a note. So I'm just going to give it a quick note for the driver so he'll know to look in the back of the store. Once I'm satisfied with, with the addresses and the way that it looks on the map, I'm going to click Save Job. I can see in the top right that this job has been saved successfully and now it's going to go into the map so that my drivers can see that there's a brand new job. Now let's add in a couple more jobs. So from this drop down I can choose repossession, advanced alert, or voluntary. This time I'm going to choose an advanced alert which is a camera scan. So I'm going to click on advanced alert and I'm going to put down the last six of the VIN. And I'm going to put in the order date. Now on an advanced alert, 
on this screen there are two mandatory options you have to put in a VIN number and you have to put in an order date you can also put in the year so we'll put in 2006 and we know it's a Dodge Ram 3500 and it's silver and we also know the license plate we'll click on the next section and here's where we can put in the address so for this advanced alert I have a Latin long which I've pasted in and as you can see clear plan updates it puts in the advanced alert icon which is this red diamond with the dollar sign in the middle so I've pasted in the Latin long and clear plans updated my map and I gave this a night scan because we scanned this at night but you could choose day scan if you wanted we're gonna leave it as night scan and as you can see clear has given it a red diamond with a dollar sign in the middle this way the drivers know that it's a brand new scan and it was a night scan so once you're satisfied with this you click save job so I'll click the save job button and as you can see this job was saved successfully so let's go ahead and add in one more job so we've done a repossession we've done an advanced alert camera scan so let's add in a voluntary job so to do that I just click on this voluntary button and this takes me to that job screen so we'll put in the debtor's full name again and we're going to type in the VIN number and we're going to put in the order date and we know the license plate number and if we had a case URL we would put in the case URL and all this is is the link back to RDN or wherever you got the job from and the client name we can put in so we'll put in a Bank of America for this one then you click the next section and here's where we want to put in the address So Clear Plan's giving us suggestions, and I know that this one is at Conway Lane, so I'm going to click this, and I'm going to give it an address type, voluntary, which it is. And as you can see, Clear Plan is updated. It's put the icon on the map, and it's given it the purple voluntary icon. So I'm happy with this. Everything looks good. I'm going to click Save Job. as you can see this job was saved successfully and so that's how you enter jobs within clear plan and as you can see we have three job types we have repossession advanced alert and voluntary